Hello everyone. For this video, I'll be discussing the ideas and themes relating to the two chapters in Filmish. The body and sets and architecture. The two films that I have decided to analyze for this video, the 1966 sci-fi classic Fantastic Voyage and the 1977 Japanese horror film House. Fantastic Voyage is about a group of scientists who embark on a dangerous mission by shrinking themselves into the body of a fellow scientist to save his life as he holds the key to the secret to shrinkage itself. House is about a Japanese schoolgirl who goes out to visit her aunt in the countryside with her close friends. However, when they arrive, strange supernatural elements begin to take place. My thesis statement for this video is the following. From its two corresponding chapters in Filmish, both films are able to use the ideas and topics of the body and sets in architecture to effectively enhance the plot and the fate of the characters. So with that in mind, let's get to it. With Fantastic Voyage, the body itself acts as a major MacGuffin for the plot and movement from place to place within the character's world. It also delves into the idea of man as the center of the universe. With the body being the primary setting, the characters are surrounded by the dangers inhabiting around them, including white blood cells. These dangers to them are to us what keeps us breathing. One scene in particular showcases the horror aspect of their journey. When the character Cora becomes in danger of the antibodies attaching to her, and squeezing her to the point where she can hardly breathe. The film utilizes that setting not only to impress us, but to keep us on the edge of our seat with the body's unpredictability. The setting itself is what keeps the character's motivations moving. In House, director Obayashi takes full advantage of the character's primary setting by using the house itself as the killer along with household items you'd least expect. The characters begin to be picked off by the house itself, one by one, with each death dismembering some of the characters' key traits. For example, one of the characters is nicknamed Mac, short for stomach. She has a need to eat frequently. For her death, she is mysteriously beheaded and attempts to chomp on her friend's butt. Melody, known for her musician's qualities, has her fingers snapped off and is then sucked into a piano. While Kung Fu, another member of the group, is dismembered in half as she attempts to kick a portrait containing an evil spirit. Each of these deaths are examples of the film playing with the idea of the defragmentation of the body, all while showcasing the character's traits and qualities in front of us. Because of how wacky this premise is compared to other films, the set design is filled with visual flair and colorful backgrounds to give the film a cartoon-like presence. This also has to do with Obayashi's background in his early experimental films and advertisements, where he was used to including animation and film language to craft his images in certain ads. In conclusion, I believe both of these films one, a sci-fi classic, and the other, a recently discovered cult film, fully utilize both the body and sets and architecture to the full extent. The characters and the story for both films use these two components not only for themselves, but to emphasize to the audience how important they are with representation of the body and the power of setting.